Look at this old relic. Golf Mobile and Ohio Railroad. This is an old Pullman car, dining car, called the Azalea. But it's up here in New Jersey. It once was a restaurant attached to another building here. And I believe it closed down way back, 20 years ago or so. But now it's, it's just uh, for sale. It's been for sale for a long time, but for some reason no one has ever bought it. So it's slowly falling apart here. So I'm gonna get in real quick and show you what it looks like because uh, from what I hear there's tables and plates still on the tables. Oh, in 2008, it's 2008. I think that's the marking for the train. It's not the year. This entire floor is just, it's just the carpet basically being held up by the joists. I mean, there's just nothing. This is just carpet. The wood is totally gone. Wow, so this was actually the main dining room here, which has really completely in some sections caved in. Whew. It's just interesting how the chairs are still stacked up onto the tables. Just as the way they put them on the very last day that they were opened. On one end of the spectrum, it's very interesting to see that, but on another, it's sad. Yeah, I don't know if it translates well, but this goes, it, it's like a, a crater opened up or something and <laughs> all the chairs and tables are making their way down into the pit. And I do not want to be one of those things, so I'm going to stay over here. I'd say that's some good amount of water damage. This is one snowstorm away from completely collapsing. What is this? Gun smoke. Oh yeah, they're in here. Look at this. I can't even open these. My hands are so cold. There you go. Totally unopened. Gun smoke lights. If you've uh, ever heard of these, Let me know, leave a comment. Ooh, this floor is uh, non-existent. Basically just walking on I don't know, sinking old wood. But look at this bar. Hang on, hang on. Calgary beer. That's a big can. Either that or my hand's really small. It's pretty cool. I don't even want to walk over there. It's really completely rotted away. But that must have been really interesting looking, really cool looking at some point. This place is way bigger than just a train, train car here.
cook right on this thing again after 20 years. Hmm. Now, contrary to how bad the kitchen looks now, from what I read, this place was very clean. It was a very nice place to eat. The reason it closed was because there was a problem with the septic. I guess you could not have, you couldn't redo it, I guess, because the codes had changed. It's right next to the river and it would have been too expensive for them. It just wasn't worth it for them to have the new septic put in. So they closed it down. Nobody was interested in buying it. Very interesting place, but for some reason, it has sat for all this time now. Champion dishwashing machine here. Any one of those in my house. This random mattress in here. Gross. Thousand bucks to sleep on that mattress for the night. Can't put a sheet down. Have to sleep right on the mattress. Leave a comment. Let me know if you'll if you would do it. Ooh. <laughs> okay. This is just carpet. The wood is totally gone. Up to the train car. Interesting how it was all built in. See how they kind of framed around it for this room. Enter the train. Oh. Very different than what it was. I've seen pictures of this place from years ago that uh, had all, all the tables and everything were set up in here. This was an old Pullman dining car. This is what it was when it was new from the old Pullman company. Any dates on this stuff? I not see anything. Alright, I did just see a newspaper from 2006 and I think this restaurant did close right around there the early 2000s um, 2004 2005 I believe it went up for auction unfortunately nobody bought it nobody cared and it has been sitting here still for sale but it's uh, basically about 20 years that it's actually been closed I would say but this Pullman car is in really pretty good condition still might need some new windows. <laughs> Sounds pretty dreary. Look at this, what could this room have been? Oh yeah, it's pretty detailed wood paneling. Very nice. What's up here? I can't see, but maybe you can. Staring at a raccoon? Who knows? I mean, it legitimately 
has the train controls still and everything. It was an interesting place. How's that for 70s wallpaper? It's all mouse poop. Condiments are still in here. Look at this. Anybody want some mustard? There's plenty of it in here. Tabasco sauce. It actually surprisingly still looks edible. All these are still filled with all glassware. Fancy schmancy drinks. That's what that's for. And for all those train enthusiasts out there, this Pullman car has kind of been the talk of a lot of online forums, a lot of conversation about what to do with this and people wanting to restore it. But I believe this is the 2008. Uh, it came from the the Gulf Mobile and Ohio Railroad when even then it was it was a dining car. So how it ended up here in New Jersey, no idea. All right, so this was just a quick tour of this old restaurant. There's really not much information about it. It's just basically what I told you. Interesting place. I've known about this for years, but I just for some reason never got here. Uh, glad I did though. Hope you liked it. See you in the next video.